Hello and welcome. I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is headed to the Middle East to push for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. The U.N. Security Council has also called for a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. Meantime, the violence escalates as Israel presses an air and ground offensive against Hamas militants. The council issued a statement late Sunday after holding an emergency session that stressed the need to improve the humanitarian situation, including protecting civilians. Sunday featured the first major ground battle since the Hamas-Israeli fighting began nearly two weeks ago. The combat left at least 65 Palestinians and 13 Israeli soldiers dead, including two American citizens. Palestinian ambassador to the UN Riyadh Mansour said his side had hoped for a Security Council resolution condemning aggression against its people and calling for their immediate protection. The fact that the Security Council agreed on the elements that were read to you by the president uh, is a test for Israel if they are going to abide uh, by all these elements and to stop this aggression against our people. Israel's UN ambassador Ron Prasser said before the meeting ended that the only way for Israel's military operation to end is for all rocket fire from Gaza to cease. If it's going to be quiet in Israel, it's going to be quiet in Gaza. So it's going to last as long as Hamas stops firing indiscriminately thousands of rockets to Israeli highly populated areas and cities. He also denied that an Israeli soldier had been kidnapped inside Gaza, calling an earlier statement by a Hamas spokesperson untrue. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expressed his own concern about escalation Sunday as he met with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in Qatar on the first leg of a trip to help reach a ceasefire. Israel must exercise maximum restraint and do far more to protect the civilians. I repeat my demand to all sides that they must respect international humanitarian law. The violence must stop now. Israel began a ground offensive into Gaza late Thursday after airstrikes failed to stop Hamas cross-border rocket attacks. The Israeli military says it is meant to destroy missile stockpiles and a system of tunnels Hamas has built to infiltrate Israel. Since July the 8th, at least 500 Palestinians have been killed, many of them civilians, and thousands have been forced from their homes. Two Israeli civilians have been killed.